you want to go to the front view, so sort of exactly like that, and just kind of zoom it in for when we render it out. So I'm going to play blast this. Um, right click, play blast, and then this will kind of render it out smaller, and then it'll play at full speed, and you can spend a really long time just going through these and messing with buoyancy is big, how fast it moves up. Um, a lot of times when I, since it pushes it away much more, if I'm going to do coming back into the apparate smoke turning into a person, I'll kind of do a longer one and turn buoyancy down so that it's not pushing the smoke out as much. It's just kind of rising slowly so when you play it back it falls into place a lot nicer. It isn't clear that you're playing it backwards and it looks good. And you can mess with turbulence a lot. Um, see what that looks like. If you have a huge, it'll just swirl every which way. And uh, what I don't like is sometimes can, well, if they're standing up, it can swirl back down lower than you wanted it to go. Um, so uh, just a little bit of uh, turbulence usually. And yeah, swirl as high as you can get it without a, it looking bad. A hundred's definitely too much. Um, and usually 50, 60, 70, maybe 80, depending on the simulation. Um, I've it set it at a pretty high quality, so I'm going to take a short little break. Alright, I have it play blasted here, and we'll just take a look. A lot of the time I'll do two or three play blasts. Um, each one kind of has a different look to it, um, just depending, I mean, you can kind of reuse settings from your clip to clip, but often you want to tweak it a little bit just depending on how large it is and what you want the smoke to be doing. You can control a lot of what it's doing here. Um, I generally use Play Blast that'll show you what it looks like in real time, and it's just as fast as going through the timeline here. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to scrub because that won't give you an ac accurate uh, depiction at all. You don't want to just click on a random frame. It'll just bust out into a bunch of pixels and not look like anything. So don't get worried with that. I like to do a lot of play blasts. Um, so to save you some time, I'll probably just go with whatever this looks like and show you how to render it out and maybe talk about what I like or don't like about it. So I'll wait, take a look here. Puffs in the smoke. And I feel like that looks pretty good. The swirl is what made the edges. And we can even play it backwards to show what it'd be like puffing back in. So a good buoyancy amount. You can see he's going to be kind of, since we tilted it a little bit, um, it's going to, smoke's going to come up and go there. This is just 50 frames. I'll probably do at least 100 frames for my render. Uh, since there's definitely still some smoke there. But we'd have even some more smoke there, not quite as 3D looking if we did a 2D render, because you can see it's already starting to go away, and this will go away soon. 2D render it all stays in the frame, would probably end up in this corner here. But I don't I don't think there's too much I would change. Um, yeah, the swirl is what gave it, you know, this look right here. Um, around the edges, kind of a, a smoky look. It would be f flat if we didn't give it any of that swirl. And kind of sends it up, and I feel like that's not a bad speed. And you can always speed it up if you want to. I mean, the thing is, longer render times if you do it really slow and speed it up, because then you know you'll be rendering 150 frames for something that could have been rendered by just increasing the buoyancy. So I might make that a little higher for a render. And so go down into how many frames. I had it set to 50, and that's how many will play blast, but you can really press escape anywhere there. And I'll kind of want to take a look at um, how long it's going to be around for. Um, actually, I'm going to guess 
probably it's going to be gone by 100, maybe I'll do 110 to be safe. Um, so, to render stuff out in Maya, you go over here to your render window. And, but you want to, some stuff will render in Maya software, some stuff will render in my hardware. Um, so what I like to do is, you want to go to frame one, because then that's got the color, because it'll put it against black to represent nothing there, and you can't really see it um, otherwise. So I'll just render this, and you want to always make sure that you can see it, because sometimes it'll render one and not the other. Okay. So it looks fine. That's a Maya software, so we'll use Maya software for this render. Good batch render. Um, so I'll just say running Lewis apparate one. You can do your image format. It depends on the software you're bringing it in. I QuickTime movie has always worked well for me. You go here. You set your start frame. You set your end frame. So I'll do 110 frames. Rendable camera. Um, generally, it's good to create a camera for something because create a new camera and then you can zoom it in but we don't really want to uh, for this clip we don't want it to move anywhere so we can just stick with the perspective you don't really need a z-depth but you definitely need the alpha channel because since it's gonna it's rendering against nothing it's gonna use that as black so if you don't set the alpha your uh, sh shaker After Effects isn't gonna know where the smoke is and from frame 5 on or 10 on it would just appear as black and basically you have nothing to work with and you couldn't even do a Luma key or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna set it at the re original resolution 720 Maya software this will show you the quality um, and you can go through production quality is going to take a really long time and you don't really need it to take that long I often go with um, intermediate quality um, maybe even a little bit down from intermediate because this isn't a full scene and I feel like it'll still look fairly good um, with um, yeah high quality you don't need quite that much shading and stuff so that should be good right there we've got our HD 720 now we have it set up and we have what the name is um, and yeah we can go in and find it find it later but it'll create that and we want to go from dynamics we want to go to rendering up to render and then batch render you can um, if you have it set to something different uh, you want to go in and change that but mine set up fine so I'll just hit batch render and I'll render 110 frames uh, obviously I won't wait through that so I'll come back when it's done often it takes 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 